In this video we are going to take a look on the actions and effects and how to use them in Cocos 2D Python. So the first thing you need to do is import from Cocos that actions import all, which will import all the actions from this actions module. So I prepared here a layer and this layer has two sprites. One is the enemy sprite sheet that PNG and the second is just the UFO head that PNG. So the UFO head or yes the UFO head is positioned in 500-500 and the UFO sheet is positioned at 100-100. So now I already typed out, I'm just going to uncomment line by line to show you, to demo, um, demonstrate how actions works. So the first thing I'm going to show you the move to action and it moves a sprite in absolute coordinates. So this will move the sprite from 100, 100. Uh, I mean the uh, UFO sheet uh, animation from 100, 100 to position 500, 500. And these actions default duration is I think eight eight seconds. I'm going to open the source. No five seconds, so here's the duration. So you can edit the duration. So if you want it to move faster, just give it a, a, another duration. So let's say duration equals two seconds and now it moves much faster and there is also the move by action and it moves the sprite in relative coordinates which means relative to the sprite's current xy location so the sprite's current xy location is 100 100 and it will add 500 and 500 to this location so it will end up at 600 and 600 yes okay i'm going to comment this out and let's go to the rotation First, I'm just going to comment out this, so I'm, we are going to work just with the uh, uh, UFO sheet. And let's run it. So now, as you can see, it rotates the UFO 360 degrees in 5 seconds. Let, let's move it to the 400, 400 location. So if you want to rotate it faster, just decrease this number, let's say, to uh, under 2 seconds. And now let's check out the scale by it will scale the sprite it will be two times as big as the original size in under four seconds yeah and let's see the fade out 
so it will fade out the sprite in 6 seconds it becomes invisible after 6 seconds ok so now let's do some interesting things we can add together these actions so now the sprite will move to 500 500 then it will rotate 360 degrees uh, and then it will scale two times uh, it will be two times as big as, as it is as it its original size it will scale back to its original size and it will fade out uh, in six seconds so we can in this case the plus operator is overloaded so let me show you Now the scale back and now the fade out. I'm going to set back the sprite's position to 100, 100. And uh, now, so the first it moves to position 500, 500. And now it, it does the rotation. Now it does the scaling, this one and scales back and now and the last time it just fades out or lastly so uh, okay the next thing i'm going to show you the if you want to do two actions simultaneously you can do this with this or operator and it is also an overloaded operator so now it will do the move and the rotate also the move will take 10 seconds to move it to 500 500 and the rotation will take only 5 seconds so let me see it so it rotates and also moves now the rotation is finished and it continues to move i'm going to change this five seconds to ten seconds so now the the rotation has the same uh, duration as the movement yeah okay if you want if you want to repeat an action um, multiple times you can also do this so here is a rotate by action and it's multiplied by four so it will do the rotate by action four times and it under two seconds one rotation so one two three and the fourth rotation and yes um, go to the next line and here is also this repeat it will repeat indefinitely the rotate by so now our sprites will rotate until the end of times so you can use this repeat also and now let me show you this line and this will move the sprite 
to the location 500 500 under two seconds then it will move back the sprite to the location 100 100 under two seconds and it will repeatedly do this so now it moves to the 500 500 and back to 100 100 500 500 100 100 so this repeat is also a cool functionality and now let's take a look at this line so it will repeatedly move to position 500 500 under two seconds and it will also do the rotation with this move move to action and then it will move back to 100 100 and it will repeat so let's take a look now it goes back and again it starts over Okay, yes, we also have some sort of effects we can apply to our sprite. Here's a twirl effect. And just, just does this, this strange thing. <laughs> uh, Let's try our next line. Here it is, uh, it creates a waves effect and then a liquid effect. Oh, it looks very good. And now it's finished. So let me see. Yes, I prepared one more scene here. This is the same scene I, I wrote uh, in an earlier video. It's just a scrollable, two, two layers of the scrollable background and I mean inheriting from the scrollable layer. And uh, to this background, not, yes, to, to the background layer, and I'm applying repeatedly a liquid effect. And I'm also setting the duration, which uh, so it uh, duration of the effect and the amplitude. So I'm going to switch to this file and I'm going to run it. So as you see, now we have this nice looking effect, which looks like um, some like, um, I don't know, an underwater scene. So if you are creating, if you want to create a game, with a scene which is underwater, you can apply this effect to, to the water or the whole scene. I think it looks, it looks very nice, very cool. So, to learn more about the, the effects uh, and these actions, just go to the python.cocostudy.org and go to the docs and tutorials to open up the programming guide and also the API reference and here in the programming guide you will find the actions, transitions and effects just read through and also in the API reference you can also find the Cocos detections, base actions and you can read through
and and also I also recommend you when if you are using PyCharm like me that uh, often go just to the action source code and learn from these comments here. So I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.